You're private. I can't see your um, subscription. All right, guys, let's put this in the oven. We'll be back with the finished products. Thank you. Okay, guys, here you have it. We're back with the finished product, and not only the finished product of the meatloaf, but the complete meal. Okay, we have our meatloaf, and it's topped with barbecue sauce and ketchup, a mixture of barbecue and ketchup, which we added at the end of the cook time and then stuck it in the oven for a few more minutes just to let that barbecue sauce and ketchup brown some. Okay, and here you have it. You see the wax paper. We trimmed the ends off before we stuck it in the oven. And it's going to be a easy cleanup, guys. Sorry for the movement, and you can see here. I'm going to try to lift that up so you can see underneath. You see there is no juice, nothing underneath. It's easy cleanup by using the wax paper. I want to lift the whole thing because I don't want the meat enough to break up in pieces. But I'm just trying to let you see underneath there. Okay. So this is good old fashioned wax paper. Line your pan with even if you're using another type of dish, you can line your pan with it. And like I said, guys, it's a easy cleanup, and I love using it. And I will show you the wax paper once again. Durable wax paper. Okay. Durable wax paper. Line your pan with it. Makes easy cleanup. Hey guys, easy cleanup. You can see on all sides, not just that end, but over here you can see there's nothing underneath. Easy cleanup. Easy cleanup. By using the wax paper, and just show you the meatloaf here. I've already sliced a piece for you, so that you can see the inside of it. Okay, and you see the wax paper caught all of that juice from the ground beef, all of the grease that was extracted out of the meat. It's on the bottom of the wax paper. And I am going to take the meatloaf off of this and put it on something else. Okay. And we're just going to slice another piece for you so you can see. see underneath there paper is still intact and the meatloaf okay guys thank you for watching and I'll show you the other items that I cook for size with our um, homemade famous meatloaf I will post the ingredients that I use to make the meatloaf on the description and I appreciate if you will leave your comments, like this video, share it with your family and friends, and please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. This is homemade cornbread that we made to go with it. We also have our Hoppin' Johns that I cook, which is black eyed peas, tomatoes, onions, and bell peppers, and seasonings. And we have a little squash that I pan fry in butter. And we have some green, green beans seasoned with some ham meat and seasonings. All right, guys, it smells delicious. It looks delicious, and I'm quite sure it's going to taste delicious as always. Okay, please leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to this video. Thanks for watching another episode of Cooking with Kaylon. Divine.
And please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Kalon Divine Inspirations. You can also find me on Facebook at Kalon Divine Inspiration. Please um, click that notification bell so that you will receive a notification when I post new video content. And guys, look out for uh, some other videos that I will be posting about grilled steak. Also, videos about homemade candy yams, making fresh candy yams from the sweet potatoes that I will peel, cut, and season and bake in the oven to make homemade uh, candy yams. So stay tuned, guys. Another quick look of our complete meal, cornbread. The Hoppin' John Black Eyed Peas with tomatoes, bell pepper, and onions. Alright, our delicious meatloaf. Cooked to perfection. Our sauteed fried squash and butter. And our seasoned green beans with hands. Thanks, guys. It's been a blessing to have you tuning in and watching my content. I appreciate all of your love and support. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Thanks, guys. Be blessed. Love and prayers to each and every one of you. Again, thanks for your continual support.